Well, hello. Welcome back to the channel. I've been asked over and over again to make a video about my stock photos, my best sellers. And how many times can I say the same things over and over again? So instead, I thought I'd play a game with you guys today. I'm gonna show you a set of images, uh, side by side, two images, from the same time period. And now, one of the images has sold over 100 times, and the other one hasn't. So I want you to tell me if you can uh, figure out which one has sold and which one hasn't. And then maybe I'll try to explain my understanding of why. Does that make sense? All right, let's go with number one. They're both from the same photo shoot. It's actually the same drink. The only thing that's different is the garnish and uh, the angle, the composition. Can you guess which one of these two have sold 1,500 times? So yes, the one with the twist. If you've watched my videos, you probably know that's one of my most, my best sellers. It sold 1,500 times uh, in one agency, over 800 times in another one, and it sells a lot in every other. And it's a little windy today. But what is the difference between those two photos? They're the same drink. Same color, same glass. The only difference is the garnish and the angle. When you're doing something on white and you see that straight on angle like this, that'll give you better sales because it has more use. When you're looking top down, uh, the usability, the commercial value in that is less because, because I don't know. I find that everything that I shoot on white when it's straight on sells a lot more than when I do any kind of angle. Next photo. It's not the same bear, but I took these two pictures the same day. There's two bears, and now which one has sold over 800 times, and the other one sold one time? Let me know if you guess which one. Brutus, the guy that's touching his toes. That one sold 825 times in one agency, and it's also sold a few hundred times in others. What is the difference? One of them I titled, Grizzly Bear Doing Yoga. The title, the keywords, the descriptions make a big difference. The other one, I pretended it was a grizzly bear in the wild that's just walking in the grass, and that one sold one time. The grizzly bear that's doing yoga, 825 times in only one agency. Pay attention to the keywords and description you're using, because those will help you sell uh, more photos. All right, so these two, one day apart, which one sold? over 200 times and the other one sold one time. Can you guess? <laughs> this one was tough. I thought the one with the flowers and the fingernail polish and everything, I thought that would sell more, but it didn't. The one with the negative space, uh, looking at the pool, showing everything, that one sold over 250 times or 241 times in one agency and many times in other agencies. The reason, you have tech space, it's on a third, everything is on, on the right side of the image, allowing for travel and text on the right, on the left. Next. All right, so now the, this one's interesting. This is from Costa Rica, both taking the same trip, uh, a few days apart. One is zip lining and the other one is a beautiful woman on the beach. Which one do you think has more sales? Okay. I thought the girl on the beach with the surfboard with the boogie board thing, I thought that one would be the best seller. It wasn't. That one has not sold at all in a few years. And the zip lining picture of my cousin, that one sold 261 times. Yep. It's action, it's adventure, it's what people are going there for. That's why that one is a, a, a good seller 260 times, where the other one, there's better pictures of models on the beach. That was just a, an okay sunset. The lighting wasn't perfect good concept but it hasn't sold the other one action sports activity 261 times next okay now the sun is gone the sun's behind me so i can do more so the next photo is a giraffe now these are not the same giraffe this was just spread uh, got about two months apart two different places so which one sold over 230 times and the other one has sold no times uh, you guessed it, the people pictures sell. And that's an editorial, even though, you know, their families that didn't have the model release. It's a family interacting with wildlife. That one sold over 230 times. And then I have a couple of pictures after this one that's also sold 250 times. 
Do one with a garage, giraffe by itself? Nothing. People, editorials, they sell. Next. All right, this one, this is interesting. These are two selfies I did. This is quite a few years ago, if you can't tell. Uh, the which one sold 300 times and the other one sold one time. Can you guess which one it was? No. Push-ups do not sell. Uh, maybe if I had a gym in the background and I had things going around and everything looking more like a workout center, maybe that would have sold a little bit more. But it wasn't, it was just me doing push-ups with the dark background. That one sold one time. The other one, isolated on white. It has a concept, a balanced life. That one sold 300 times. Don't do push-ups. They hurt and they don't get you anywhere. Next. This is from a trip to Peru. One of these photos I've sold uh, almost 500 times and the other one, zero. Can you tell which one and why? If you follow my channel, you know that the one that sold 500 times is Jenny, the lady holding the lamb. And that is, again, a perfect travel photo. It's got negative space. You got the human element inter interacting with the wildlife or the pet, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that one sold 479 times. The other one is very specific. The other one was a parade or a religious celebration here in Cusco. In, uh, in Cusco. And it is very specific to what's happening that day and that party. It's not something that can be used to promote or advertise Peru. All right, the next one. This is very interesting. One of these photos have sold 740 times. The other one has sold 114. Can you guess which one? <laughs> yes, the one that's organized sold 740 times. But order out of this chaos is what sold. The other one is just messy 114 times compared to 740. 40 same sticky notes. Now, if you add that up on average in like Adobe stock, a dollar uh, per photo, that's like almost 900 bucks from sticky notes. <laughs> next, the next one is the same object, the same food object, mushrooms, shiitake mushrooms. One is on a rustic wooden cutting board and the other one is on a white background. One of these has sold 200 times and the other one zero. Can you guess which one's which? Yes, isolated on a white background always sells more. That one sold 200 times for the mushrooms, the other one in zero. Now, somebody could have searched for the ones on the board and then found the ones in white. Upload as much as you can and then the more numbers you have, the more chances you're gonna have of being found. That was the last photo of the game, uh, but I do have a surprise for you. This is something I've been wanting to do since last year because some of you said I don't understand physics, so I'm gonna prove you wrong. But if you wanna see more videos like this, more games, uh, let me know and I'll, I'll look through my photos, see what's sold and whatnot, and find more pictures that I can do uh, similar videos, but let's go to that surprise. Last year I made this experiment and I had a few mistakes, so I'm gonna correct them. Uh, and a few of you made some comments that I missed physics class. Even a friend of mine said that the physics do not make any sense. So Bear, go ask a bumblebee about physics. All right, so one of the first things I noticed last year was the noise. This year I brought, <laughs> your muffs. And then the other thing is I couldn't see where I was going. So now I have a clear umbrella. The rest, they're just physics.
it's all day. I forgot my eye protection. <laughs> Alright, turning is still an issue. I think I might need a rudder. Alright guys, I just wanted to prove that this worked and it did. The only thing I need to control a little bit better is the steering, but so far it's doing well. If you guys want to see more games with the photos and see what sells and what doesn't sell for stock, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll make more in that style. But thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye!